A man accused of violent racial harassment on a King County Metro Transit bus now faces hate crime charges. Como Force Kara Kostinich is live at the King County Jail with this story for us. Kara? Molly, the King County Jail, a place Andrew Belasco has been before, and the location where he sits tonight. It was around 10 p.m. on Metro Transit Bus 1 on January 4th. That's when prosecutors say Andrew Belasco started shouting anti-Arab slurs at two college students. And then now we see this happening right in the middle of the city. Uh, it's unfortunately doesn't surprise us, but we must take this with a lot of seriousness. Arsaline Bukhari is the executive director for the Council on American Islamic Relations. He says he hears about this type of crime every day in Seattle. There's, there are too many of these events happening all around town. But what happened on Metro Bus 1, according to prosecutors, turned violent. Court documents say the men from Saudi Arabia who attend college in the area stepped onto the bus and the racial harassment began. According to documents, Belasco threatened to sexually assault the victim's mother. He also asked why they came to our country. The alleged rant was laced with profanity and used phrases and words we simply can't show you on TV. And I'm embarrassed by it. That other people in my city would be treated badly because of their race. According to documents, the bus driver demanded the 50-year-old get off the bus. But before he did, he punched one of the victims. The driver called police and Belasco was arrested. It's very good work by the bus driver in calling law enforcement and making sure this is dealt with. Um, exemplary work by him. It's frightening because I ride the bus regularly. Uh, I don't have a car. I'm a bus rider. I ride every day. Belasco has several misdemeanor convictions on his record. The current charge he's facing, malicious harassment in this current case. He's being held on $50,000 bond. He's expected back in court on January 22nd. Live at the King County Jail, I'm Kara Kostinich, GOMO 4 News.